All right, let's look at how to write to a string. So I'm going to use the stream or the string stream objects. And for that, I need to use the, the S stream library. So I've got S stream. And I'm going to go ahead and create a, a string stream. So my std string stream. And it doesn't really matter what I call it. So I'm just going to call it buffer. And then later, I'm going to print out my buffer. Whatever my buffer has in it, I'm going to print it out right there at the bottom. So what I want to do first is I want to, actually, it's buffer. Dot, sure. So I'm going to get the string from the buffer. All right. So I want to print out the numbers from 1 to 10. So I've got a, I'll do a for loop. And so you have four and i equals one i is less than or equal to 10 i plus plus and then i want to just write to that string stream buffer so i'll do it's just like the c in or c out so i'll do a buffer and i want to write the number i and then I'll go ahead and put a new line after it. So it's going to be adding a bunch of new lines. And then when I'm finally done with everything, I can add a new line to the end. And I'll put just the new line right here. And I'll actually do it as a end line. So I'll do this. And this right here will allow me to print out just the numbers from 1 to 10 in this buffer including new lines and then i'll print that out as a single single thing i run the code and you can see it prints out the numbers from one to ten now it's not printing out the numbers one at a time what it's doing is it's actually putting the numbers into this buffer and then printing it out and in fact just to show you that it's not doing it's pretty in there i can put the buffer i and I can do buffer and I put a slash T and then maybe I will add I times I just so you can see what it's doing. And then maybe I'll even put a, a new line right here and run that. And you can see now we've got all of the numbers plus the squares that they would get if multiplied times themselves with a tab in between each one. So all you need to do in order to do this is you just take the string stream, create your object, your buffer that you're going to be writing to. You then put things into it. And then when you want to get the string out of it, you just use the buffer.str method and grab it right out.